Hey there, Angela Mosley here with Modern Fit Moms. I'm a pre and postnatal corrective exercise trainer, and today's video is all about reducing tension and tightness within the pelvic floor in a warm up before you go into your strength training or whatever workout that you're going into. Now, these are just some sample exercises that I recommend to some of my clients, and inside some of my programs might be a tool or a vessel to help with some of your pelvic floor tightness that you're experiencing. Please get um, into the pelvic floor PT to get a proper diagnosis and what your body needs. Um, in today's video, we're gonna work through some external release with a ball and then increasing some mobility and breathing within the pelvic floor. What I'm gonna use for today's warm up is I have a tune-up ball, which you can find the link down below. I have a pillow for a child's pose position, a foam roller for some support. I have my bike to hold on to for a deep squat hold. And then I have a bench to sit on to roll out the um, pelvic floor externally. So when it comes to rolling externally the pelvic floor. We want to think about it like we're foam rolling the pelvic floor or any other body part um, such as the glutes, the hamstrings, or the quads. And so you want to think that you're not going to roll on the bones and you want to avoid any sensitive areas within the pelvic floor. So I like to roll um, just inside of the sits bones as you can see here. I'm going to go up and down and then side to side anywhere from 30 to 40 seconds. Um, now timing is an issue then even just 20 seconds to 30 seconds is going to be beneficial. Official. So do what your time or your al time allows you um, and then follow along this workout or you can pick and choose which exercises feel good for you. So let's go ahead and get started with externally releasing of the pelvic floor. Okay, so I'm going to take the ball and I'm gonna literally going to place it on this inside of the sits bones and I'm just going to roll around. So I'm going to roll front to back and then side to side. Now if it is painful, then you want to back off. It should not be painful because if it's painful or it's super uncomfortable, your body may actually tense up even more. And so we really do not want that. For a good internal release, you want to see a good pelvic floor, internal pelvic floor um, physical therapist in your area. And you want to focus on a good inhale in this position. All right, let's go ahead and switch right into that other side. So I've just got my timer here that I'm using to help us keep track of time. Again, anywhere from 30 seconds to 60 seconds, I will roll out before I head into my strength workouts. I still do this today. And so I release and then I go into my breathing, which is exactly what I'm going to show you. So again, if it's uncomfortable or it's painful, please back off. If you find a sticky spot and you want to sit there and breathe into that spot, you may do so. All right, go ahead and set that off to the side and move your couch bench or chair. We're going to come into a child's pose breathing. So I'm going to grab my pillow. I'm going to have my knees together. And I'm going to place the pillow underneath my abdomen so that all of my inhale is going to have to go into my back and into my pelvic floor. And that's my goal. I'm going to come down and place my hands on the mat. My neck's going to be nice and relaxed. And I want to think, I want to in, um, four count for my inhale. And I want to think about expanding the breath throughout my body. So upper back, ribs, lower back, and down into my pelvic floor. So go ahead, inhale now. And then on your exhale, you're going to gently exhale all of the breath out and keeping that pelvic floor nice and relaxed. I like to think of it as a water bottle. So if you crush up a water bottle, it's got all those dents inside of it. The only way to get the dents out is from the inside. So I like to think of our bodies the same way. So go ahead, give me another good inhale. Feeling the breath expand into the back. Exhale, everything comes back down and in. Nice, relaxed pelvic floor. Let's do one more. Man, exhale. Awesome job. So our goal with the breath is to spread the load and to get internally massaging the muscles. All right, our next up is a deep squat hold. So if you have prolapse, then you can use a foam roller for support. You can hug those knees in again so that all of the breath is forced into the back because that's where most have tightness. And we're going to focus on that inhale like that water bottle again. And then a gentle exhale. Now, if you feel up to it and you don't feel vulnerable in that position, you can use something such as a spin bike or anything that you can reach up above you. And you want to think you can inhale here. Same with that deep squat hold. We're just focusing on that inhale. So removing any dents from the inside with our breath. 
You can also place your hands down below if that feels good. You might have to scoot in. Let's do one more good breath. And exhale. Awesome job. All right, step back. We're going to come into some thoracic mobility. So I'm going to sit my hips back. I'm going to hopefully avoid moving through the, thora or the lumbar spine. I'm going to place my hands into the mat to push the body away with a nice soft elbow. I'm going to take my left hand and place it underneath or behind my head. I'm going to drop down and then I'm going to open up. This is going to increase thoracic mobility, which directly impacts our diaphragm and the diaphragm and the pelvic floor naturally work together with our breath. So it's very important that we incorporate some thoracic mobility within our routine to help restore good function all over. Inhale down, exhale to lift. Let's go ahead and do one more. Go ahead and switch sides. Now you can always place your feet up against a wall if you need to, to help, if you find, that, oh, I'm really working through my threat or my lumbar spine, then you can place your feet up against the wall to help support some of that. I like this position because I can really feel my pelvic floor opening up, especially if we have tightness, which is what this video is all about. Drop it down and rotate. Awesome job. All right, we're going to come down onto the mat. I'm going to bring it down to my bottom and I'm going to do some 90 90 rotation. So I'm going to lean forward again, opening up, and then I'm going to flip my legs and I'm going to lean forward and open up. And I'm going to continue to do that for a couple more reps. Let's do one more each side. Again, this is going to be super quick just to give you a taste of what a good um, warm up could be for some increasing pelvic floor mobility. We'll do one more each side and reducing some of that tension and tightness. Fantastic job. We're going to go ahead into one more um, exercise. We're going to come into some rock back. So I've got my hands uh, on the floor. I'm going to simply rock back and then come forward. So I like to inhale as I come back. That's naturally going to open up the pelvic floor and then exhale as I push up. Fantastic job. Let's get in one more. And go ahead and switch. Other side, same thing. Sit back and push forward. Let's do one more. Fantastic job. Fantastic job. Well, now you have it. You can incorporate some of these moves. This is not a full entire warm up, obviously, but you can incorporate some of these poses. Definitely the externally releasing, definitely the breathing, whether the child's pose or the deep squat are very good. You could choose one or the other, or you can choose to do both. And you can decide how you want to incorporate it into your workout routine of what feels good for you and your body. If you want to learn more about the Core Revive, which is my four weeks foundation course to reclaim pelvic floor strength, whether you're experiencing leaking, tightness, prolapse and you want to get back to lifting and, and back to your hit classes without symptoms check out the link below for my signature program core revive the four-week foundation course and I'll see you in the next video